public examination of Cyprian, by the proconsul, in Carthage, Galerius Maximus, on September 14, 258, has been preserved. Are you Thasius Cyprianus? I am. The most sacred emperors have commanded you to conform to the Roman rites. I refuse. Take heed for yourself. Do as you are bid. In so clear a case I may not take heed. You have long lived a near religious life and have drawn together a number of men bound by an unlawful association and professed yourself an open enemy to the gods and the religion of Rome. It is the sentence of this court that Thasius Cyprianus be executed with a sword. Thanks be to God. Today, 16th of September, the Church celebrates the feast of Saint Cyprian of Carthage. Cyprian was born around 200 AD in North Africa, of pagan parents. He was a prominent lawyer and teacher of rhetoric. Around 246 he became a Christian, and in 248 was chosen Bishop of Carthage. A year later the persecution under the Emperor Decius began, and Cyprian went into hiding. As he thought that his survival was crucial for the church. During the reign of the Emperor Valerian, Carthage suffered a severe plague epidemic. Cyprian organized a program of medical relief and nursing of the sick, available to all residents, but this did not prevent the masses from being convinced that the epidemic resulted from the wrath of the gods at the spread of Christianity. Another persecution arose, and this time Cyprian did not flee. He was arrested, tried, and finally beheaded on 14th of September 258. Many of his writings have been preserved. His essay on the unity of the Catholic Church stresses the importance of visible, concrete unity among Christians, and the role of the bishops in guaranteeing that unity. It has greatly influenced Christian thought, as have his essays and letters on baptism and the Lord's Supper.